I think I first learned about three hours in uh, late primary school. Uh, before that, we weren't really involved uh, in recycling efforts. I think the recycling was this uh, 3R movement was something that uh, was cropped up, uh, was, uh, you know, uh, ignited recently because of the concerns about global warming. So my first uh, experiences with recycling was in primary school with, uh, you know, we were, learned, we were taught that, you know, uh, stuff like paper, cardboard, aluminium is precious and we should recycling it, recycle it by putting, in the, putting, it, putting it in the respective bins. And then as time progressed, we were even recycling much more uh, advanced stuff, like even uh, our printer cartridges, we were recycling that. So I feel that uh, technology has really helped us a lot in uh, teaching us how to you know, reuse the materials that are very precious to this earth. On the other hand, it's a double-edged sword because we also, uh, with the ease of getting our things, we learn how to, we, we tend to, you know, um, take things for granted. But I believe that nowadays, uh, the recent curriculum, the recycling efforts is being inculcated since young. So I think that's good for the future of Singapore. Any memories like have you recycled you uh, in kindergarten or primary school? Uh, yes, I have. Uh, my commun uh, The community centre near my house, they always... Uh, organize uh, recycling days once a month. So what happens is you bring in your your uh, your newspaper, your aluminium, your cardboard, and that's accumulated in your house. You bring it there, and then they'll pay you a certain amount for it. So I think this incentive uh, actually encourages more people to, you know, uh, recycle.